All right, guys, this is test number one without any configuration done to the game. This is on all low settings. We're getting around 200 frames, give or minus 10 to 12, 15 ish frames from recording. What's up, guys? Zola here. We're going to be doing a major just FPS boost on our gameplay, uh, just overall cleaning up our PC and just getting everything running at its best performance possible. Now, before I go on and say anything else, just make sure that you understand that there are reverts for this. So if it doesn't necessarily work the way you want it, there's always a way to revert it. We'll be showing that at the end of the video. So stay around for that. And just know that systems are different. So you might have one system, your friend might have another system and his specs might be lower, but it might be better for him. Just keep in mind that uh, this could or could not work for you, but go ahead and give it a try because it does work for most. With that being said, let's get right into it. First, we're going to go off, and I'm going to have this folder right in the description for you guys to download. Zolo's crazy SBS. Now, I'm taking two different roughly tutorials here and putting them in one and making them simplified for you. So one you probably previously saw on my channel. We'll be doing that roughly last after we get all the game situations going on. So right away, we're going to go ahead and open up our launcher and open up this folder. This will open up here. It's the command line and ultimate performance text. We're going to go ahead highlight these commands under Fortnite command line. Right click on them, copy them. All right, from here, we go to our launcher. Go ahead and hit on settings. You're gonna scroll all the way down until you see Fortnite. Check the down arrow. Click additional command line arguments. Go ahead and paste those things we just copied in there. All right, with that being said, you can hit this arrow and you can hit the X on your game. All right, now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hit the run command. It will bring up this percent app data percent. You guys probably seen this once or twice before. We're going to go ahead and we're going to look for app data, local. We're going to go into Fortnite game, save, config, Windows client, and this is where our game user settings are. From here, we will have two different, uh, not two different, we will have a game user settings for you. So if we go into our Zolo's crazy FPS, I'm gonna go to Fortnite settings, find your graphics card, no matter what it, no matter what it is, if it's Intel, if you have AMD, or if you have Nvidia, all right? So I personally have the GTX 1050 Ti, so that's what I'm gonna be looking for today. Here's the folder I need. I'm gonna go ahead, double click on it. I'm gonna go into the low settings. Here's the game user settings we need to copy in. So we're gonna go like this. If you wanna make sure uh, you wanna save anything, uh, from before your game settings, say you don't like the game settings that you have, go ahead, we're going to right click this, rename, let's just go ahead and put a 1 after it. This will just give us a nice placeholder. We're going to drag this back into our settings over here in this file so you know where to get it. Go ahead and drag the new one in here. And that's almost it. We're going to go in here, we're going to edit a few things. So you can edit with Notepad++ or just Notepad. So what we're going to be looking for we're going to be looking for resolution. We're going to be changing that back to whatever resolution you plan. If it's, you play on stretch, this is where you change it. So I do not. I play on native. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 1920 by 1080 on all these different platforms right here. And there's also a few different things we're going to be need to, needing to do within this file. Next, we're going to be coming down until we see auto quality level, audio quality level, excuse me. We're going to go and put this from zero to a one. This will turn it on low. Surprisingly, this gives us a few more frames. This frame limit here, we're gonna go ahead and cap it at a thousand for some of you beasties that are gonna get some nasty frames with this. This will give us a text block thing within putting in our frames, but just know that it is uncapped to a thousand frames in your game. Desired screen width, there again, we're gonna have to put 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution you're planning on using. From here, we scroll down till we see the next set of resolution width, which is towards the bottom, last confirmed. Once again, 1920 and 1080. All right, now from here, we're gonna go down to scalability mode. This is gonna, by default, and this one will be set to 50%. We don't want that, that looks actually nasty. We're gonna go and set that back up to 100, for sure. After you have that, go ahead, that's the last thing, hit file and save that. We can X out of our editor. One last thing, we're going to right click, properties, go ahead to attributes, and we want to check read only. That way it doesn't rewrite re the settings that we need. 
go ahead and hit apply and okay all right we are done with the game settings awesome from here we're going to go back into zolo's crazy fps folders we're going to go ahead and run a command line argument so this is going to give us an additional ultimate power performance mode on our computer for our power plan so we copy this bottom one this power config scheme go ahead you can hit x on that we're going to type in cmd into our bottom bass bar here wait for that that will pop open from here all we do is paste that power config scheme in here go ahead and hit enter it will say ultimate performance if it successfully went across from there we can just hit the x now what we got to go and do is go ahead and hit edit power plan in the bottom here this will bring up this from here you'll see power options at the top click power options and i already have it selected but you can see i've done this three or three times enabled this so it comes up but you'll probably be on either balance high performance but go ahead and hit show additional power plans and you'll have an ultimate performance plan now from there you go ahead and check on that and now you can hit the x all right next up we have our fortnite priorities okay so this will bring fortnite to a higher priority and run run fortnite at a higher level um than other applications on your computer so say you install this and your computer isn't running the way you want it to run there is also a revert back to normal priority below it so let's go ahead and just go ahead and double click on fortnite high priority it will bring up a prompt that will ask you to hit yes so hit yes and then this will tell you are you sure um you're adding something to the registry are you sure you know this go ahead and hit yes if everything worked correctly it should come up with a blue exclamation point and say it's successfully been added to the registry perfect hit okay and we can go back to zolo's crazy fps now these next things are going to be basically up to your um discretion um this does help someone this nvidia profile inspector you'll have three files in here we're going to go ahead and click that top one it will also ask you if you'd like to continue and open this application so we go ahead and hit yes now a lot of people said that this doesn't really help them with fps so this is up to your call for me i'm going to do it for the sake of this video at the very top you see profiles and a little search bar we're going to search up fortnite in the search bar f-o-r-t go ahead and hit fortnite this will bring up a new area of things we're going to look for sync and refresh first we see frame rate limiter mode we're going to change that from default to frame rate limit to control delay flip by flip metering that is what we need right there then we're going to go on down till we see number five which is the common section we're going to make sure that i multi-display slash mixed gpu acceleration is on single display performance mode make sure it is on single display then from our power management mode we're going to go ahead and it's on optimal performance we're going to do prefer maximum performance all right go ahead and hit apply changes in the corner don't worry it's something if your computer does not apply the changes that means it's already set so just ignore that you're perfectly fine for this next step we're going to have to open up task manager and see what kind of processor you have your cpu in your system so go ahead right click on your thing and you can open up a task manager for a second your will be on your task manager will be on processes they're so going to go ahead click performances you'll see a bunch of graphs here make sure you're on the cpu graph your graph will also look like this right away. We're gonna go ahead, right click, change the graph to logical processors so we can see them. Here's the name of your processor. I have the AMD Ryzen 5 2600 six core processor. This is also a multi-threaded cost processor or a hyper-threaded processor, which you need for this next step, either multi-threaded or hyper-threaded, depending on if you have AMD or Intel. Now, how you tell if it's hyper-threaded or multi-threaded, you'll look down here, you'll see the number of cores. My number of cores are six. My logical processors are 12. If your processors, if your logical processors match your cores, so if mine are six and six, that means I do not have hyper threading or multi threading. If your logical processors are bigger than your cores, like mine are six and 12, that means I have some sort of hyper threading slash multi threading going on here. That is good. We'll be able to do this next step. All right. From that point on, I will link in the description the Google document you will need. This person from Reddit made it. He's very, very good at what he does and it really helped us out which this uh author is snuffy here's the link right here here's the reddit post i'll have everything in the description so go ahead if you express his gratitude he has his paypal link right here but anyways let's get into it we're gonna scroll down to the smoother gameplay on multi-threaded cpus 
All right, from here, all we need to do is go to step two. You'll see this link. Now, you're going to see two things that are bolded. First, you're going to see the ones and zeros that are bolded, the binary ones and zeros, and you're going to see the letter C bolded. The letter C represents what drive your Fortnite is installed on. To find that out, you will need that. You're going to go down, and you're going to look and hit this PC in your file explorer, and you'll have either one or two drives here, and you'll have to know what drive your Fortnite's installed. So mine's installed on my C drive. To know this, I can go like this. I can go to Program Files, and I can go to Epic Games, and I can see Fortnite here in Epic Games. That is what we need. So let's go ahead, copy this link. Go ahead and paste it in your search bar, but do not press Enter. Now say your drive letter, mine is C. Say your Fortnite was installed on a different drive, and the letter was D. All you need to do is highlight the C and change it to a D. All right, we're putting it back to a C, obviously, because mine's a C. Now we got to change the ones and zeros according to your processor. So if we go down this page here, here is all the processors that are going to work with this step. If your processor is not on this list, there is a slight possibility it will work, but most likely you do not have hyper-threading or multi-threading, so this will not apply to you. So let's move forward with this. I have the Ryzen 5 6-core 12-threaded processor. We're going to go ahead and copy the ones and zeros that it gives us. Control and Z. C, not Z. And go ahead and after the 22, all the way to the percent sign, we're getting rid of these ones and zeros. Hit delete. Go ahead and paste your new ones and zero code in there for your processor. Hit enter. This will bring up this thing again, addressing the author the PayPal link, and the Google Doc where this is all sourced from. We're going to be looking at this very bottom link. Use target section for shortcut. Right here, when it says cmd.exe, that's where we start to copy all the way to the end. Make sure to include the little uh, quotations at the end of that. Go ahead and copy that. I'm using Control-C. From here, we don't need anything more. We can hit the X. We're going to go to our File Explorer. We're going to go find our Fortnite game. From here, mine's in my C drive, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and we're going to scroll down so we see these four or five-ish Fortnite things. Now, it's important that we use the Fortnite client Win64 shipping exe. Nothing else. Right-click. We're going to create a shortcut. From here, the short not, shortcut was put down here. We're going to drag this onto our desktop right in line with everything. We can go ahead and exit out of our Fortnite uh, folder right there. We're going to right-click on our shortcut that we just created. Go ahead and hit Properties. And in the target, you'll see that it's already highlighted. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And we're going to paste with Control-V the code that we just copied from that uh, link from before. Go ahead and hit Apply and OK. From here, you're going to see that the, the Fortnite icon that we had before, the shortcut, is now a command prompt icon. Do not click on it yet. We're going to go like this. It's Zillow's Crazy FPS folder. And in here, we'll have the system configuration thing. Shortcut. Click on that. So bring up this prompt right here. We're going to go ahead and go to Boot. Advanced Options. Want to check the number of processors and check the highest number of processors you have. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Hit OK. And exit without restarting yet. One thing I need to explain, if you're a streamer, this will affect your game and your stream dramatically in a bad way for streaming. Okay, it's not going to harm your computer. You'll just have complications with running your stream and playing Fortnite at the same time. So, what you're going to have to do is normally, to get the good FPS, you're going to launch this by double-clicking on this icon. We're not going to double-click yet, but if you want to run... Smoothly in stream, I recommend opening up the Fortnite launcher and just starting Fortnite up normally from here. And that will be better for your stream, but you'll still have all the other optimization we did previously. So now it did want us to restart. Remember, we hit exit without restarting. We're going to go ahead and hit that restart button right now, and we'll be right back with you as soon as we restart. Now that you have your computer restarted, we're going to go ahead and double click on this icon if it flashes that means that you've done everything right if it stays open obviously means that you did something wrong it's more or less likely your drive that you have your game on 
you did not change that C letter to whatever letter you had on your drive. Now that your Fortnite is loaded up, we're going to go ahead right in the lobby. We're going to mess with the, we're going to look at the settings that we have to deal with. So right now, you will we'll see text block. This is, just means that it's capped at 1,000 frames. That's what we set it to in the game settings. But everything else should be set to this. Make sure you have your show FPS on. And yeah, from here, we're going to go to voice. Make sure that your quality is on low. It should be low already from the game settings that we put in the game. We're going to go ahead and hop into a playground real quick. And go over to Tilted where we first did our test and hit our up our previous test. Catch you guys there. All right, so coming into our spot here in the game, on this white wall, we're getting around 170 or 270 frames. If we look down, we're pushing the 300 mark. We're at 290, so we've gained roughly 100 FPS in good points. And this isn't Tilted, guys. One thing you also notice is the game is just overall a little more vibrant than before. So this is really cool for edits, it's like adding your own CC, and it's a little brighter. So you'll be able to see people's outlines a lot better in-game. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If this did help you at all, please leave it in the comments so people know that this worked. If this didn't work, I'm very, very sorry. Go ahead, and we're going to follow along with a portion of this video where we're going to reset the changes that we made. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and... Here's the reverts. All right, guys. So if you did not like the changes that you've made to your computer, there's always reverts for that. So what we're going to be doing is going through and reverting all the changes we made just so you can see that it is capable and possible to revert. So all you have to do is go back into Zolo's crazy FES folder. Go back to your Fortnite settings. Go here. Go to your 1050 Ti or whatever graphics card you have. And in here, you'll see that the renamed folder we have is still there all you're going to need to do is right click rename that to game user settings and all you need to do is drag that back into your game user settings folder for your fortnite and it's reset back for your game settings one sec we're going to have to do the rest of the stuff here so we're going to go ahead and go to edit power plan Go ahead and open that up from here power options once again and you're going to see that our power options are back so you can set it to whatever you had before and this will revert back next we're going to go ahead into the zolo's crazy crazy next we're going to go ahead into zolo's crazy fps folder one more time i'm going to go to the nvidia profile inspector go ahead and hit the exe and just kind of like what we did before we're going to go ahead once this opens you're going to type in Fortnite, hit the enter button, it'll bring up, we're going to change back our form, our frame rate limiter mode back to default, and we're going to scroll down until we see 5 common, and change our preferred maximum performance to optimal performance, and hit apply changes. One last thing, Fortnite priority settings, we're going to change the Fortnite priority settings back to normal, just by clicking the normal priority, go ahead and hit yes. And OK, and it will reset back to normal. From here, we have a couple last things we need to do, or one last thing, excuse me. All we're going to need to do is hit system configuration here. So bring up the boot options again. You will need to restart your PC after this. Go to boot, advanced options, uncheck this, or excuse me, change the number to one first, then uncheck it. Hit OK, hit apply, and hit OK, and then you can restart your computer. Now, to get rid of this command prompt right here, all you need to do is simply delete it and open Fortnite the right way. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Zolo out.